I'm Randall Bird, your concierge yacht broker, lovethatyacht.com. Behind me is the Pacifica Lenoir 62. I'm going to get on board and take a look at it. Wow, what a great looking boat it is. I'm going to turn the camera on so you can take a look at it. So we're walking alongside the Lenoir Pacifica. As you can see, this is a really big boat for a 62-footer. It looks as big as a 70-footer cubic inch wide it's big capacity the cabin is stretched all the way out to the hull as you can see we're walking back now this is the tnt lift very unusual for this kind of boat there's stairs going up to the cockpit there's your anchoring system on the bow and up on the bridge is one of the two areas to keep your dinghy the other area, this is your cockpit by the way it's got a nice seating area it's fully protected it's a lovely place to hang out while you're underway or at dock, and then you're looking down at the TNT lift. This is the undershot of the TNT lift. You got about 30, 36 inches swing up and down. So entering the cabin from one of the pilot house doors is the galley seating, and then we're moving towards the galley, walking through it. It's got new granite counters, beautiful floors, beautiful stainless appliances. It's got a great hot top stove and oven with a microwave convection oven. Here's a shot back from the galley. You can see the huge refrigerator and a dishwasher. Oh my, lots of storage. And walking through to the on-deck bathroom. Very unusual for this kind of boat to have an on-deck bathroom, but looking sternwise, this is your big salon with a dining area to starboard and your seating counter midship and port it's a great setup for entertaining, for cooking with friends. Um, and then swing sternwise, you see this huge TV, a great U-shaped couch, beautiful wood floors, sliding doors, windows everywhere, new curtains. This is a great boat. I mean, it really feels like a much bigger boat in every possible way. So we're moving forward then towards the forward staterooms. They're going to go down the stairs. And we're going down the stairs. These are unusually wide, easy to walk stairs, unlike some trawlers of this style. And you get to the landing area and going forward is your VIP. It's a three quarter queen. You can easily make the bed. That's what makes it so great. You get around all the size, little makeup table. And then it has an attached bathroom with a shower right there. Very comfortable, very easy to use. And then swinging back, we're walking aft a bit, and we're going towards the guest stateroom, which is to port. And as you can see, it's an upper and lower, but it does have its own bathroom and shower again. All of the staterooms have their own bathrooms and showers. There's three staterooms. Here's another shot of it. And then to starboard side is a pantry with a washer dryer and a pantry closet. And then if we're back on the salon, we're going sternwise to the master cabin. Again, really great wide open stairwell going down. Um, and it goes to your landing platform. But what's surprising is, this is a massive cabin, bigger than most 70 or 80 foots I've been on. It's got an owner's captain's deck to uh, desk to port. It's got dual hanging lockers. This couch pulls out to another bed it's really unusual there's your tv more storage but it's a huge queen size bed with full walk around lots of curtains lots of cabinet and storage areas it's an exceptionally big big master suite and then of course it's got its attached bathroom with shower right there and these are all vacuum flush heads by the way on the boat beautiful setup I mean, you can easily live for years and years on this yacht. And then we're swinging back around again. We're going to go out and up the stairs. I want to give you one more view of this massive cabin. So you're going up the stairs. Well, almost. There's still shots of some of the accoutrements in the master cabin. And as you can see, the bed is angled. It's not squarely set on a bulkhead. It gives it a wonderful setup. And so we're upstairs in the, walking up the stairs to the enclosed Sky Lounge 
bridge. Again, it's kind of, it's kind of unusual for this boat to have a fully enclosed bridge. This one does. It's another big entertainment room with seating areas, lots of room for friends to stand around the helm and watch the captain drive the boat. It's a beautiful big helm with modern equipment and some traditional equipment. The boat's been steadily upgraded and it does have a bow thruster and it does have stabilizers along with the TNT lift, generator, water maker, two generators actually. So it's quite a well-equipped yacht. It's got a deep full keel, but it's a planing hull, gets up to 21 knots, but easily cruise at eight to 14 knots. Here's your power panel. It's down the stairs so you can actually stand or sit and access. You don't have to squat down to see the switches, but there's some of the seating area and then we're looking through the window. It was raining today, as you can see, but that's your back deck. I have some still shots of the back deck, what it looks like. So this is the sliding door. This is covered seating with a table. There's your davit with your dinghy back, but it's a big deck up here. Now we're in the engine room, and this is an amazing room. Super clean, well-equipped. That's, that's the Westubiki generator. There's a second generator to the port side. These engines are classic 8V92 TAs with double turbos. Very powerful engines, but very economical. About a gallon a cylinder an hour, or about 16 gallons an hour. And you can see off to the port side is, over there is your water maker, and there's one of your two big battery boxes. And a really a big, easy to walk around, easy to use engine room which is kind of typical for these kinds of boats. There's your other generator. There's a single uh, reverse osmosis membrane. You have your panel for your engine. And so here's some more shots of the well taken care of, cared for engines. There's about 1,700 hours. There's your oil reserve for your stabilizers. So this is your Linois Pacifica, 62 foot. It's 68 foot overall with the TNT lift. Bottom was painted roughly a year, year and a half ago. This is a shot in the yard when it was serviced and painted. And you can see what an extraordinary yacht. So I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker. Give me a call. Lovethatyacht.com. Let's get you on board. Thank you.